So you might already know the add updater function, which is simply called on every frame. The problem with add updater is that you cannot determine beforehand how many frames per second the program will be run at. So imagine a fast gaming machine with a 144 hertz monitor, it will run at 144 hertz. And if you've got a slow laptop, maybe it will only run with 30 hertz or maybe even with a dynamic refresh rate from 30 to 50. But there is a way to use add updater independently from the actual frame rate. To demonstrate this, I've written this simple program which just moves a circle from the left to the right and displays the frames per second. It's actually 60 frames per second and that's a little timer where you can see that this circle will need 10 seconds from the left to the right because it just moves one pixel per frame and the window is 600 pixels wide. So this makes a 60 second travel for the circle. The problem is that on another machine with more or less frames per second, the circle would go faster or slower. So during coding you can't make any assumptions how long this animation or for that sake anything that you do in Add Updater will take. Some engines offer the possibility to manually adjust your calculations with a parameter like delta time. Quark can do this too, but you don't need it for the most of the things you want to do with an updater. So if you want to fix the update frequency to, like say, 30 times per second, you can just do this with using add fixed updater. And then you just specify in this case, 60 times per second. So this won't change anything on my example, but um, you can see how this add fixed updater works. Now we will let it run for one time and after that choose another parameter, another value for the parameter, like 30 times per second. So it's still 60 times per second and it takes 10 seconds. And if I take 30 times per second, it just should take 20 seconds to move from the left side to the right because we are now fixed at 30 times per second. And this value is now independent from the target machine that the software is running on. It doesn't matter if it's 144 hertz display or less or whatever. So it takes 20 seconds to move. 